Welcome to Lesson 8.2, Grade 8s. In this lesson, we're going to expand upon your abilities to draw objects on their three-dimensional views. Only we're going to put a little bit of a twist in it this time. What's going to happen is we're going to make you change what is the front view before you draw it. That's all. So what's going to happen here is real simple. You're going to have an object, and you're going to change its rotation, and then it's going to become a new front. Now, there are two types of rotations. The first one is called a horizontal, and that is spinning something like a top. So the top is what actually spins. So you look at the top of the object, it will spin around it clockwise or counterclockwise. And you're going to be given those two pieces of instruction, like uh, rotate 180 degrees uh, horizontal rotation or 90 degree counter, you know, counterclockwise rotation. Remember, you don't need to have clockwise or counterclockwise when you're working with... Uh, uh, 180 degrees. So it would be 90 degrees clockwise horizontal rotation or 270 degrees counterclockwise horizontal rotation. The second one is kind of like a rotisserie or a stick, a pig on a stick on a barbecue. What it ends, ends up happening is the top rotates away from you or towards you. So this would be a vertical rotation of 90 degrees away would mean that the top would move away from you 90 degrees. And if it was 180 degrees, it would go two quarter turns away from you. If it was a 270 degree towards you, you'd rotate it three times towards you. All right? Remember, it's the top that comes towards you. So let's take a look at how this works. First off, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to take your cubes and I'd like you to build this object. And you will notice that I have a front already set up for you. All right? So take a second and rebuild that. And once that's done, then you can uh, you'll just give me a moment and I will move with you to, uh, to the next point. So, we've got this drawn. Now, let's take a look at what you're going to be getting. I need my animation. So, you have drawn this, and it is 180. It is looks uh, like this object. Let me give it a moment to catch up. And here we go. All right, so my front view looks like yours, just like that. All right, so you can see that I've got this object here. Now, it says up here on the top... Now, this, is, oh, this is just a, a beginning one to see if you can get it correct and you remember what happened in your last lesson. So here we go. I'd like you to draw the front, top, and right side views of this object. Okay, so pause the recording. And remember, they have to be in the proper location and you do not label them. So this is going to be your front view, your left view, your right view, and your top view. Okay, so let's see if you can do this without my help at this point. All right, let's see how this works. Your front view. Well, your front view is going to be spinning it and looking at this rotation look right here. So this is what your front view should look like. You'll have that L shape. Now remember, the box is the same size. This is the one that's pointing towards you. This one's a little bit further back. And then, of course, these two are in the back also. All right, if you look up here, this is the front. This is why this one's slightly larger when you look at it. It's because it's closer to you. All right. Now, let's take a look at the right side. You're going to spin it this way. And your right side will look like this. Your left side will look like this. And of course, your front view, sorry, I said front view, your top view will look like this. Okay, so now that you know how to do it, let's do the next part and add to it. What I want you to do first. Oh, it says animation needs fixing, so hopefully we'll be able to fix this without having too much difficulty as we go. Rotate the object no horizontally, 90 degrees clockwise, and redraw what the views are. So your first job is to draw this object, and sorry, to create this object, and this is your front. All right. Okay, so here we go. This is what you should have drawn, and of course tells you that this is your front view so normally this would be your front view right here all right so we've got your front view normally now here's the thing it says here rotate the object 90 degrees clockwise okay and it's horizontal which means the top is going to spin so here's what we normally had right your front view this is our front view right here so we're going to go to our top view and we're going to spin this and it says to spin it 90 degrees clockwise so here we go 90 degrees, doesn't like doing what I want it to do. 
clockwise. So now, this view down here is going to be our new front view. So this is what you should have drawn as your front view. So now I understand why this is all messed up. Okay, so there's your new front view. It's not going to match my notes perfectly, but you should be able to do that quite easily. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to take and I want you to draw the other three views. So pause the recording and draw the other three views. All right. So obviously, if this is your front view, that is your top view. All right. And your right-hand side. And, of course, your left-hand side. Okay, and so again, front, top, right, and left. Okay? Now, I get these are all done wrong incorrectly, so I'm, I was going to show them to you, but they're incorrect. So you know what they're supposed to be from before. So I'm just going to move on past this one to the ones that I know that are correct. So here's your next object I'd like you to build, okay? So build this, and there is your front view given to you. All right, so there is it. Now it says here that I want you to draw this object 180 degree vertical rotation. Now remember, if this is your top view, sorry, if this is your, your front view there, your top What's going to end up happening is, you, is you're going to take, go to the front view, and your top is going to rotate away from you 180 degrees. All right, so this is what it's going to look like. This is going to go away from you. I don't know if I can make this work. This way, there's 90, and then of course there's your 180. So this should look. Basically, there's your new front view. Okay. So now that you get your new front view. Your right-hand side means just take this object, turn it right, and there's your new right side. Go back to your front view. Here's your left side. And of course, your top view, go back to your front view. And now your top view should look like this. Okay, so hopefully you're starting to get the idea how to do this. You draw that you create the object, you take a look at what's going to be normally be your original object, front view, it'll look like this, and then the front view before you do your rotation, and this is a 180 degree rotation away from you, so you're going to be looking at the back of it, and of course then it becomes your front view, your right side, your left side, and of course your top. All right, so let's take a look at our next example. All right, so here we go. Your first job now. Let's take a look at how you can do this. This is your new object. I want you to create this object. Your front view is looking from here. Now you're going to do a horizontal rotation. That means the top is going to spin like a clock 270 degrees clockwise. So do the build it, look at your front, spin it 270 from the top, and then I want you to draw your three, your four views. Okay, so pause the recording and see how you do. All right, let's take a look at what this looks like. All right, so your original view before we did anything looked like this. All right, now what we needed to do, it says here, draw the object after it's been rotated 270 degrees clockwise. So what I want to do is I want to take a look at the front view first. Right, and then I'm going to spin it to its top, and now now I'm going to do my 270 degree clockwise. So here's 90 degrees clockwise, 180 degree clockwise, and this takes me all the way to my 270 degrees. Now go down to your front view. So this should be what your front view should look like now. Okay, now right side should look like this. Your left side there you go okay and finally your top view should look like that
Good. Hopefully you did well. All right, turn the page. This is what I would like you to build. Now we're getting a little bit more complicated. All right, so build this first, and then once that's done, you can take, and I want you to take a look at your front view, I want you to draw it after a 90 degree rotation away from you vertically. Remember, that means the, uh, the top is going to move away from you vertically. So do the complete thing, do all the drawings, and let's see how you do on this. Okay, here we go. So there's your original. All right, now we're going to do a 90 degree rotation away from you vertically. So the first thing you need to do is to identify the original front. The original front is right here, so here's your original front. Now it says 90 degree rotation away from you vertically, which means the top is going to go away from you vertically. So this is going to spin away from you. There is your new front. Okay. Now, your right side, just turn this right. There is your new right side. And now, go back to your front, and your left side should look like this. Now notice that this is farther away, that's why it looks smaller, all right? But these would all be blocks in a row, just like these three, all right? Now, go back to your front, and now you can do your top view. Okay, watch the video as many times as you need to, and hopefully things will be easy for you. Again, and make sure you use your blocks. You're allowed to have them on the tests and finals and stuff like that, so don't be afraid to use them if you have to. All right, so complete the assignment. If you have any questions, come and talk to me. I'll see you in class.